When opening PRISM Design for the first time, you will get a pop-up box requesting the type of printer you will be printing to. This is to make sure that the right printer driver will be used. The correct printer driver can also be chosen by going to File, New and click Printer and selecting your printer in the Select Driver window. To get started, you'll need to create a blank format for your label. Go to File, New and click on the Formats tab. The Design Properties box will appear. Here you can set the properties such as temperature and speed. If you want an exact size, click on the Edit Label and enter the measurements. I'll make this one 60 times 30. Next, you'll want to insert a text block so that you can add content to the label. To do this, you'll need to go to the Home or Blocks toolbar on the ribbon, click True Type Font, and then click and drag the text block to the desired size. A cursor will appear in the block and you're ready for text editing. I'll type Tutorial Label in mine as an example. To change the font size or other characteristics, you can highlight the text, in this case Tutorial, and set the font size from the drop-down list on the toolbar. I'll select 16 points for this one. Now, if you want to center the text, just click into the text box, use Center Align on the Home toolbar on the ribbon, and the text will center in the block. You can also toggle between millimeters and inches by clicking on the millimeter button in the top left hand corner of the frame. To frame your text block, go to the Home or Blocks toolbar, click on Shape and then select either the circle or square shape. I've selected the circle. Position the pointer then click and drag your block to the desired size to enclose the text. Now we'll look at how to add a picture to your label. On the Home or Blocks toolbar, click the Picture block and then click in the lower center of the design. An Edit Picture dialog box will open and allow you to edit the picture block. In the Picture Name box, click and select the picture you'd like to include and open the file. There are several options to select. On this example, we will choose the Embed Image checkbox and Keep Aspect Ratio radio button. Then click OK. You may need to adjust the positioning of the text and picture on your label. Press Ctrl and A keys to select the text, circle and picture block at the same time. On the Blocks or Home toolbar, click on Align and select Center Horizontal and it will align the blocks with each other. On the Blocks toolbar, click the Lock Block button to lock your blocks in place. To test that the lock is on, select a block and ensure you cannot drag it into a new position. Now that the picture and text are positioned where we want them, let's add a barcode. Click on the barcode block on the Home or Blocks toolbar, then click and drag it to the correct size in the right of the design. An Edit Barcode dialog box will then appear. Select a barcode type and enter the number of characters and data. Feel free to experiment with the barcode type, sizing options, characters, number of characters and so on. 
A preview of the specified barcode will appear at the lower left. Now you can drag the barcode to fit onto the label. To configure your system further, simply click on Options and Application in the right top hand corner of the screen. Here you will find multiple options regarding our software. You may want to test print your label at this point before saving it. Once it's saved, test print will no longer work. It's as easy as going to the Quick Start toolbar and clicking Test Print. Save your format by clicking the Save button.